Hey friend, Jennifer Allwood here. Um, we're going to have some fun today. I'm going to talk to you about Facebook Messenger Rooms, um, which Facebook has recently rolled out. If you don't have it yet, like hang tight. Facebook doesn't always roll everything out to everybody at once. They do just a little bit at a time to fix things that go sideways during the rollout. And so Messenger Rooms is kind of cool. And the, one of the cool things is it's totally free. Um, I have some big ideas on why Facebook rolled out Messenger Rooms uh, since, you know, the world has is where it is today with a lot of people working from home and um, needing to continue working from home zoom has had an incredible like growth and and people inundating that platform we've used zoom for years and years and years and um, per the usual with Facebook when they see something doing well they're like well let's you know do that too so example who remembers the days of Periscope? I do. And then Facebook rolled out Facebook Live. Who remembers the days of Craigslist? I do. And then Facebook rolled out Facebook Marketplace. So um, so I don't think we're going to say, who remembers the days of Zoom? I think Zoom is here to stay. But, uh, but Facebook is getting in on the messenger rooms. And there can be some great advantages to this, both um, on a personal and a professional level. So I want to talk to you about that. Now, you can share... Facebook messenger rooms through your Facebook, through your Instagram, or even a link. Um, and it can be used on mobile and desktop both. So real quick, I want to just show you or teach you or um, instruct you on how to use it. Okay, you ready? All right, so first of all, I need you to go to your Facebook profile or to your group. Right now, Facebook messenger, um, is, uh, messenger rooms is not available for a page, for a business page. So go to your personal profile, order a group, and you hit the words create room. Then you're going to see something that comes up where you can like choose a room activity. Then you can choose who is invited. Next, you can choose a start time, um, and then you either create a post or change the setting by clicking the down arrow on the friends button to say only me or whatever privacy setting that you prefer. And then you hit the join this room and you've created the room. Like that's it. It's super easy breezy. Once you get into the room, then you have um, some options like muting, turning your camera on and off, sharing your screen and seeing all the different participants. So it acts a lot like Zoom in that manner. So there are some differences though on um, your desktop versus your mobile, okay? So you can use um, on desktop or the mobile, but the filters are only gonna work on mobile. And I can just tell you from personal experience, the filter's the best part of this. The filter's the best part. Our team laughed and laughed and laughed so hard this week when we were changing different filters. I can tell you from personal experience that the one with the little curly mustache, that is my personal favorite. So on the mobile, literally you're gonna click on your face and this little icon with a face and, and two little stars above it, um, you're gonna click on that and that'll let you explore all the different filters. Super fun. On the desktop, you're going to be able to switch the layout to see everybody or just the main speaker. You can also send a chat, but it's not really as user-friendly as Zoom. Um, you have to click on the person's name, and then it opens a new tab in Messenger, and you have to send a message that way. So um, I am assuming that there will be changes, and it will be getting even better as we go down the road. But real quick, let's look at three ways that you could use these Messenger rooms to, um, to grow and support your business online. So you could do um, trainings for different people, little mini trainings. You could do little like masterminds, little executive group coaching calls. You could do one-on-one -on -one coaching in this way if you didn't want to purchase Zoom and um, and you don't really want people to have your phone number. Um, you could use this instead. You could do uh, expert interviews in this way, um, record business meetings in this way. You could promote products or services. Like there's lots of different things that you can do. And so. Um, so anyway, I think it's just kind of fun. It's kind of fun to see the different ways that Facebook is changing things in order to adapt to the new world and to, it, it, you have to remember this about Facebook. They're always changing things to keep people on the platform. That 100% of the time, that's 100% the reason. So they know that people are using Zoom and um, and doing group meetings like crazy and they don't want you to leave Facebook. So they're, they're rolling something out for the masses that can allow you to do group meetings on their platform. And so um, we'll see how it changes in days and months and weeks and years and whatever to come, but it's kind of fun. So if you like this training and you're interested in knowing um, some other things just in terms of your IQ when it comes to social media,
and understanding how social media works and those things, you can take a quiz that we made in. Literally, who doesn't love a good quiz? So go to Jennifer Allwood dot com slash IQ quiz. It's a quiz just to see what your social media IQ is. And if you're, you know, if you've got time to take a, a quiz on Facebook about what kind of Disney princess you are or what kind of cheese you're most like, then you can definitely take the time to go over and see what your IQ is when it comes to social media. So jenniferallwood.com slash IQ quiz and make sure you subscribe to the channel. While you're here, we'll see you next time. Thanks.